Hello. Today's story is about a young boy called David. Now, David has just had his birthday, and his mum and his dad and his sister and his aunts and his uncles have all given him presents. But David's favourite present is a toy drum. And our story is about David and his drum. David was given a drum for his birthday, a big one, which made a proper drumming sound when David played it with two drumsticks. He practised a lot. He played it loudly with big beats. and softly, with tiny taps. He played it slowly, and he played it fast. This drum, said David, is the best present I ever had in my whole life. David liked the drum so much, he took it to bed with him every night. Well, it was too big and hard to go under the covers with him. But David wriggled down the bed and put the drum above his pillows. He could reach up and tap the drum gently with his fingernails to say good night before he went to sleep. Then, as soon as he woke up, he drummed Good morning on the drum. When he was dressed, David drummed himself downstairs, stepping slowly to the beats. While he ate breakfast, his drum was by the chair. After breakfast, David went to drum for his dad. He found him in the bathroom having a shave. I'll give you some beats to help you along, said David. But after a while, his dad said, David, I can't do shaving with that noise. That beating will make me cut myself. Go and play to your mum. She's in the kitchen. David found his mother washing up. I've come to beat time to your washing up, he said. But after a while, his mum said, Well, thank you, David. That was fine, but um, well, it, it's so loud right by me, I, I think it might make me drop something and break it. Why don't you try your drum outside? You could play to the baby, uh, but not too loudly or you'll frighten her. So David went drumming out into the garden. <laughs> Baby was crying in her pram. But when she saw David, she stopped, and he began to beat his drum. He beat it gently, with sharp little taps, while the baby watched the moving sticks. He likes it softly, said David. He stood drumming while the baby lay watching. Then, slowly, she put her thumb in her mouth. And slowly, she shut her drooping blue eyes. David went on drumming until he realised she'd, she'd fallen asleep. It wasn't meant to send you to sleep, said David. He went to the end of the garden. His granddad was there, planting out seedlings. I'll give you some drumming to help you along, said David. He tried to drum in time to his granddad, but the job was so slow it didn't really work. Granddad took a tiny plant, made a hole in the ground, then very gently put the plant in and pressed the soil round it. I don't think it's drumming sort of work, said David, and went back into the house. 
His sister was going for a walk with her friend. Shall I come along and, and, and drum you along? asked David. No, thanks. We're going for a stroll, said his sister. We don't want to march along like a pair of soldiers. Soldiers, said David. Oh, I wish some soldiers would come along. He went to find their little dog. His name was Dougie. Perhaps I could teach him to march behind me, said David. But Dougie only wanted to play. He barked at the drumming and jumped up at the drumsticks till David had to give that up. David played with his toys for a while, but he was thinking of drumming all the time. He went out sadly into the street. My drum isn't really for standing still, said David, but nobody seems to want to march. He stood at the corner by the busy road. He was not allowed to cross it by himself and the children coming out of school were helped across by the lollipop lady. They were waiting on the pavement. The lollipop lady watched the traffic, then walked out into the road. She stopped the traffic coming up the road, and she stopped the traffic coming down the road. Then she lifted up her lollipop stick, saying, Stop, children! and called the children to cross the road. Come on now, she said. Quick march. Uh -uh. Not running. Not dawdling either. But quick march. David could hardly believe his ears. Of course, this was a good place for people to march. And he could help them across by beating time. He went up to the lollipop lady. Can I beat on my drum next time you let children across? He asked. I don't see why not. As long as you stay here on the pavement, she answered. So David waited. And the next time she had some children ready to cross, she said, quick march. And David did quick beats on his drum. children liked marching to the drum and when they had all come out of school and the lollipop lady had finished her job she said to David I've never seen them cross better all stepping smartly along you can come and help me anytime I only live round the corner said David so I'll, I'll drum them across another day and he drummed himself home to have his dinner Hope you enjoyed that story. That's all we have time for today, but uh, I look forward to reading you another one, another time. So till then, goodbye. Mm -hmm.